Hey everybody, how you doing today? Uh, just on my walk home, having a beautiful day. Uh, today I want to do something kind of special because I think I want to address this one to someone real specific. Uh, I've been banging around in my head for a long time. Uh, and I think I'm going to address this one directly to Andrea Horrath. Uh, I know you're watching this because I'm a super important person. Uh, I super matter, so I know you're taking special care to listen to, uh, to me. Uh, uh, the average voter, a worker, somebody who lives in Ontario, somebody who is dealing with the problems of Ontario, uh, I consider myself the voice of the average man. Uh, and I hope you do take the time to listen to this, and I hope you do take the time to take it seriously, because uh, I'm on your side, and I'm hoping that you... Ooh, hey there. Got a little raccoon right here, buddy. Got a little raccoon. Always important to share raccoons, Andrea. Always important to share raccoons. That was a special little moment. Consider this moment blessed between us now. <laughs> I want you to be the next premier of this place. I want that more than anything. You're the best positioned for it. Right now your competition is a literal sociopath and an empty chair. And somehow you're polling uh, badly against that. Uh, I don't understand how that's a thing, Andrea. I don't understand how it is that a person who has always been on the left, who has fought for the left, who is fighting for workers, who is fighting for union people, is polling worse than an empty chair. Uh, and I think it really does come down to... Uh, uh, two issues, two things that I hope you are going to remedy and you're going to remedy quickly. Uh, when you, you are not accepting that there is a rage, there is a deep anger and a resentment that exists uh, amongst the lower class of this society. You are not accepting that this rage this resentment, this anger is uh, uh, being left alone. You are not accepting. When you speak, you are speaking with this voice of calm civility. I, when I listen to you speak, I see it. It's very well tailored, very well mannered, very well orchestrated. We all see it. We all understand it. It's exactly what Tom Mulcair did to lose his election, and it's exactly what you're doing to lose yours. You're standing in front of people, you're putting a big smile on your face, and you're saying, hey, it's time to love me. Hey, aren't I a nice person? Aren't I a great person? You should love me. Well, Andrea, guess what? We don't. You would have won the last election if we did. You know what people are voting for now, right now, Andrea? They're voting, they're voting for people uh, out of a sense of, of hatred. And I'm saying it outright. People are voting for a sense of hatred. There's rage happening. People are mad. People are angry. They see injustice. There's a phenomenon called an outrage culture that you are simply sitting by the si sidelines and allowing go by you. I don't understand how someone can possibly allow this rage that is manifesting itself in the form of blockades, that is manifesting itself in, in uh, uh, massive protests, can simply sit by the sidelines and smile and wave as it watches, uh, as it goes by. It's time to up your game, Andrea. It's time to up it hard. It's time to go after these sociopaths. I don't expect you to call them sociopaths, but I think you need to go harder. I think you need to treat these people with disrespect uh, because they don't earn your respect and they're not going to vote for you anyway. And, and more than anything, I think it is time. You have always talked this sort of leftist, leftist game. You've always been sort of tepid, soft left. It's time, Andrea. It's time now. 
to double down on a big idea that could galvanize the public and get them to swing in your favor to elect you the premier of this goddamn place. And the way to do that is by endorsing a basic income. This is a policy that we've tried. We know it works. It's cheaper to do. It's more effective, it's more efficient, and it's exactly in your wheelhouse. Here in Ontario, we spend $36 billion a year to maintain the system of poverty we have right now. And that's just here in Ontario. We spend $36 billion to maintain the system of poverty we have right now. Evelyn Forget, who is our leading voice here in Canada, or one of our leading voices here in Canada on the basic income, she pegs paying for a base, for a basic income at $24 billion. You do the math here, Andrea. Would you rather spend less to eliminate poverty, or would you rather keep spending more to maintain this system of poverty? I don't understand how anybody can look at those numbers and decide to keep things as they are. I don't understand how anybody can just say to a person, yeah, go work your life away for a person you'll never meet, who will jam all the earnings into an offshore account somewhere, un not invest the money, waste everybody's time, waste everybody's resources, uh, and that's what you should do. Do you understand how, that's, how that could be seen as a complete waste of everybody's goddamn time? Because I don't know if you do or do not. I don't know where you stand on this issue of whether or not people should have their uh, productivity stolen from them. I don't know where you stand on that. Near as I can tell, you've just sort of found yourself in this position. And honest to God, Andrea, I want you to win. I want you to win real bad. I want you to defeat this sociopath who's willing to destroy the province, who's willing to sell the green belt, who's willing to attack autistic children, attack our education, attack our uh, uh, healthcare system, who's willing to privatize as much as he can get away with, who's willing to sell our futures and the futures of our children for money for himself, who's willing to be duplicitous and plunderous and pillage our, na our, our, our province for his own benefit and the benefit of his buddies. And I know you're fighting. I know you released some documents on the teacher strike. Good for you, by the way, good for you. I know that you're fighting, but I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing your anger. I'm not hearing your rage. I'm not hearing any ideas. I'm not hearing it, Andrea, and I need to hear it. I pay attention, I keep my ear to the ground, I read articles, I dig deep, I don't know anything about you. You're a ghost as far as I'm concerned. And the reality, Andrea, and I'm going to tell it to you as hard as I can, if you can't beat an open sociopath who's attempting to dismantle the civil society and an empty chair with liberal written on it, you should resign. I'm not trying to be mean, I'm not trying to be evil. I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm trying to put some stakes in your ass. I'm trying to get you to actually understand that there are hundreds of thousands of us, if not millions of us, who are sick and tired of having a boot to our back pushed, pushing us into the ground and telling us we should be grateful for it. I'm sick and tired of these politicians offering absolutely nothing the way that Trudeau does, the way that the conservatives do. Stand up, offer absolutely nothing, promise nothing, and seize power and then use it to dismantle our society. I'm exhausted by it, Andrea. And you, of all people, should be standing in front of the nation and you should be saying with open arms and open heart, why go into politics if not to help the little guy? If not to help the people who rely on public services the most? 
Why? Why go into politics to attack people? Why go into politics to make the majority of people's lives harder? What's the point? Except for some sort of narcissistic vanity project, which for Doug Ford it absolutely is. And so I'm gonna recap. You need to be angrier. You need to sound angrier. I don't need you to be refined. I don't need you to sound nice. I need you to be angry. Tom Mulcair lost his election because he stood in front of the nation with a stupid grin on his face looking like Rafi. Right? Is that what you want to do? Are you going to stand in front of the nation with a stupid grin on your face like Rafi? Are you going to stand in front of everybody and say like, look at me, I'm Andrea Horath. I'm not Doug Ford. I have no ideas. I don't do anything. Is that what your plan is? Because it looks like that's what your plan is. That's a losing plan, Andrea. You know what's a winning plan? You know what's a winning plan? Going out there and killing these guys. Going out there and nailing them to the wall. Going out there and saying in front of everybody, to everybody, Doug Ford is a bad person. Doug Ford is a fucking sociopath. I don't need to hear you say fucking sociopath. I'm not an idiot. But you gotta get that spirit in you. You gotta get that spirit in you. The guy is a, is a drug dealer. The guy is a liar. The guy has no moral center. Where am I hearing that from you? Nowhere. And then Andrea, I need an idea. I think everybody wants an idea right now. And you know what that idea is, Andrea? It's a basic income. And I think you know it. I bet anything, I'd be blown away if you haven't dabbled at this. I'd be blown away if you haven't looked into this. If you haven't looked into this, you definitely should resign. Like, definitely you should resign right now. Like, I can't imagine why a person who's on the left of the spectrum hasn't looked at this issue. And if you haven't, time to go. Time to open it up for somebody who's actually going to look at some ideas. Time to open it up. Because uh, uh, near as I can tell right now, you're just a status quo holder. You're just going to stand there and you're just going to maintain the status quo. Not good enough anymore. Not good enough. We need people who are going to advance a progressive agenda, who are going to uh, uh, come forward with ideas, who are going to take strong positions and defend those positions. And if you don't think that's you, time to go. I'd love it if you won. I'd, I'd love to see Andrew Horwath as the premier of Ontario. I'd love that more than anything. But it's time to come out swinging. Your time is now. Your time is now. And it's time to come out swinging hard. It's time to come out with lead. It's time to nail these fuckers to the wall. It's time to let them know that the populace is not going to be asleep. And it's time to let the populace know that voting for an empty liberal chair is not going to do anything for them. Because that empty liberal chair is going to promise them nothing. It's going to say, I'm not Doug Ford. Uh, uh, it's going to say, hey, I'm going to do the status quo. And if you stand up and you say all that except you're orange, you're going to lose. You're going to lose again, the way you've been losing. Because you're just a female version of Rafi. Tom Mulcair. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need a smiling, grinning, sopping idiot. I need somebody who's gonna go in there and is gonna punch some people in the face. <sighs> and this place needs a basic income. We need to shut the food banks down. We need to tell these corporations that the cost of doing business is making sure no one lives in poverty. We need to tell these people, these fucking sociopaths who are abandoning the populace, that that is unacceptable behavior. It's time for the grown-ups to take over. It's time for the children to go back to sleep, to go back to bed. It's time to make some grown-up decisions and take responsibility for the, for the citizens of this society. And I am sick and tired of their abandonment being silenced, including by you. I'm sick and tired of stepping over people sleeping on the street and nobody saying a goddamn thing about it. I'm sick and tired of it, Andrea. Now is your time. 
And I want, I, I, oh boy, would I love it if you came out swinging. I would love it if you came out swinging. And I would love it if you supported a rational policy like a basic income. Well, Andrea, I feel like I've depleted my little rage dump. I do hope things are going well for you. I do hope that you run a good campaign. I do hope that you can shift the narrative and fight against this cresting wave of fascism that is taking over our nation. I hope you've got it in you. And if you don't, time to go. Good luck.